The Fanai Ray Rotodyne was a 1950s British compound gyroplane designed and built by Fanai Ray Aviation and intended for commercial and military applications. A development of the earlier gyrodyne, which had established a world helicopter speed record, the Rotodyne featured a tip jet powered rotor that burned a mixture of fuel and compressed air bled from two wing mounted Napier reel and turboprops. The rotor was driven for vertical takeoffs, landings, and hovering as well as low-speed translational flight, and a tour rotated during cruise flight with all engine power applied to two propellers. One prototype was built. Although the Rotodyne was promising in concept and successful in trials, the program was eventually cancelled. The termination has been attributed to the type failing to retract any commercial orders. This was in part due to concerns over the high levels of rotor tip jet noise generated in flight. Politics, the development was government funded, had also played a role in the lack of orders, which ultimately doomed the project. Design, the Rotodyne had a large, four bladed rotor and two Napier reel and NEL. Three turboprops, one mounted under each of the fixed wings. For takeoff and landing, the rotor was driven by tip jets. The air was produced by compressors driven through a clutch of the main engines. This was fed through ducting in the leading edge of the wings and up to the rotor head. Each engine supplied air for a pair of opposite rotors. The compressed air was mixed with fuel and burned. As a torqueless rotor system, no anti-torque correction system was required, though propeller pitch was controlled by the rudder pedals for low speed or control. The propellers provided thrust for translational flight while the rotor at all rotated. The cockpit controls included a cyclic and collective pitch lever, as in a conventional helicopter. The transition from helicopter to autogyro took place around 60 miles per hour by extinguishing the tip jets, and up to half the lift was provided by the wings, enabling higher speed. The rotor blades were a symmetrical aerofoil around a load bearings bar. The aerofoil was made of steel and light alloy because of center of gravity concerns. Equally, the spar was formed from a thick machined steel block to the fore and a lighter thinner section formed from folded and riveted steel to the rear. The compressed air was channeled through three steel tubes within the blade. The tip jet combustion chambers were made from Nimonic 80 with liners made from Nimonic 75. History equals Development equals, Fanai Ray developed the Fanai Ray FB-1 Gyrodyne, a unique aircraft in its own right that defined a third type of rotorcraft, including autogyro and helicopter. Having little in common with the later Rotodyne, it was characterized by its inventor, Dr. J. A. J. Bennett, formerly Chief Technical Officer of the pre-Second World War Syervan Autogyro Company as an intermediate aircraft designed to combine the safety and simplicity of the autogyro with hovering performance. Its rotor was driven in all phases of flight with collective pitch being an automatic function of shaft torque with a side-mounted propeller providing both thrust for forward flight and rotor torque correction. The FB-1 set a world air speed record in 1948, but a fatal accident due to poor machining of a rotor blade flapping link retaining nut terminated development of the pure gyrodyne. The second FB-1 was modified to investigate a tip jet driven rotor with propulsion provided by propellers mounted at the tip of each stub wing. This was renamed the jet gyrodyne which despite its name, was a compound autogyro. Fanai Ray put forward their various designs for the proposed BEA bus, which were revised over the years, and received government funding. However, getting access to engines proved to be difficult, with first Rolls-Royce then Armstrong Sidley claiming a lack of resources. In 1953, the Ministry of Supply contracted for the building of prototype, with a view to an aircraft that would meet regulatory approval in the shortest time, Fanai Ray's designers worked to meet the civil airworthiness requirements for both helicopters and similar sized twin engined aircraft. A 1 6th scale rotorless model was extensively wind tunnel tested for fixed wing performance. A smaller model with a powered rotor was used for downwash investigations. While the prototype was being built, funding for the program reached a crisis. Cuts in defense spending led the Ministry of Defense to withdraw support, pushing the burden of the costs onto any possible civilian customer. The government agreed to continue funding only if, among other qualifications, 
Fanai Ray and Napier contributed to development costs of the Rotodyne and the Eland engine respectively. Equals testing and evaluation equals. Although J.A.J. J. Bennett had left Fanai Ray to join Hiller Helicopters in California, the prototype, its development assumed by Dr. George S. Hislop, made its first flight on November 6, 1957 piloted by Chief Helicopter Test Pilot Squadron Leader W. Ron Galatley and Assistant Chief Helicopter Test Pilot Lieutenant Commander John G. P. Morton as second pilot. The first successful transition from vertical to horizontal and back to vertical flight was achieved on April 10, 1958. The Rotodyne performed to expectations and set a world speed record in the converter plane category, at 190.9 miles per hour on January 5, 1959, over a 60-mile closed circuit. As well as being fast, the craft had a safety feature, it could hover with one engine shut down with its propeller feathered, and the prototype demonstrated several landings as an autogero. The prototype was demonstrated several times at the Farnborough and Paris air shows, regularly amazing onlookers. It even lifted a 100-feet girder bridge. The Rotodyne's tip drive and unloaded rotor made its performance far better when compared to pure helicopters and other forms of converter planes. The aircraft could be flown at 175 kn and pulled into a steep climbing turn without demonstrating any adverse handling characteristics. Throughout the world, Interest was growing in the prospect of direct city-to-city -city transport. The market for the Rotodyne was that of a medium-hull flying bus it would take off vertically from an inner-city heliport, with all lift coming from the tip jet-driven rotor, and then would increase air speed, eventually with all power from the engines being transferred to the propellers with the rotor at all rotating. In this mode, the collective pitch, and hence drag, of the rotor could be reduced, as the wings would be taking as much as half of the craft's weight. The Rotodyne would then cruise at speeds of about 150 km to another city, for example, London to Paris, where the rotor tip jet system would be restarted for landing vertically in the city center. When the Rotodyne landed and the rotor stopped moving, its blades drooped downward from the hub. To avoid striking the vertical stabilizers on startup, the tips of these fins were angled down to the horizontal. They were raised once the rotor had spun up. British European Airways announced that it was interested in the purchase of six aircraft, with a possibility of up to 20. The Royal Air Force ordered 12 military transport versions. New York Airways signed a letter of intent for the purchase of five at $2 million each, with an option of 15 more albeit with qualifications, after calculating that a larger rotodyne could operate at half the seat mile cost of helicopters. However, unit costs were deemed too high for very short hauls of 10 to 50 miles, and the Civil Aeronautics Board was opposed to rotorcraft competing with fixed wing on longer routes. Japan Airlines said they would experiment with Rotodyne between Tokyo Airport and the city itself. The U.S. Army was interested in buying 200 of the Type Y Rotodyne to be manufactured by Fanai Ray's U.S. licensee, Kamen Helicopters in Bloomfield, Connecticut. Government funding was secured again on the proviso that firm orders would be gained from BEA. The civilian orders were dependent on the noise issues being satisfactorily met, and that importance made Fanai Ray develop 40 different noise suppressors by 1955. Equals cancellation equals. In 1959, the British government, seeking to cut costs, decreed that the number of aircraft firms be lowered and set forth their expectations for mergers and airframe and aero engine companies. By delaying or withholding access to defense contracts, the British firms could be forced into mergers. Saunders Row and the helicopter division of Bristol were incorporated with Westland, and in May 1965 Ray Aviation was also taken over by Westland. By this time, the Rotodyne had flown almost 1,000 people for 120 hours in 350 flights and made 230 transitions between helicopter and autogiro a euro with no accidents. The larger Rotodyne Z design could be developed to take 57 to 75 passengers, which with the Rolls-Royce Tyne turboprops would have a cruising speed of 200 kts. It would be able to carry nearly 8 tons of freight and British Army vehicles would fit into its fuselage. Government funding of some A5 million pounds was promised. 
The expected order from the RAF did not appear a euro they had no particular interest in the design, with the issue of nuclear deterrence to the fore at the time. The Tyne engines were starting to appear underpowered for the larger design. Rolls-Royce were told that they would have to fund the engine development themselves. However, the end came when the interest shown by BEA declined to order the Rotodyne due to tipjet noise concerns and a request for a military order was also turned down. Funding for the Rotodyne was terminated in early 1962. The corporate management at Westland decided that further Rotodyne development towards production status was not worth the investment required. After the program was terminated, the Rotodyne, which was, after all, government property, was dismantled and largely destroyed in the same way as the Bristol Brabazon. A single fuselage bay, as pictured, plus rotors and rotor head mast are on display at the Helicopter Museum, Western Supermare. Equals analysis equals, the one great criticism of the Rotodyne was the noise the tip jets made. However, the jets were only run at full power for a matter of minutes during departure and landing and, indeed, the test pilot Ron Gallatly made two flights over central London in several landings and departures at Battersea Healy Port with no complaints being registered, though John Farley, chief test pilot of the Hawker Sidley Harrier later commented. From two miles away it would stop a conversation. I mean, the noise of those little jets on the tips of the rotor was just indescribable. So what have we got? The noisiest hovering vehicle the world has yet come up with and you're going to stick it in the middle of a city? There was a noise reduction program in process which had managed to reduce the noise level from 113 decibels to the desired level of 96 decibels from 600 feet away, less than the noise made by a London underground train, and at the time of cancellation, silences were under development, which would have reduced the noise even further a euro with 95 decibels at 200 feet foreseen the limitation being the noise created by the rotor itself. This effort, however, was insufficient for BEA who, as expressed by Chairman Sholto Douglas, would not purchase an aircraft that could not be operated due to noise, and the airline refused to order the Rotodyne, which in turn led to the collapse of the project. It is only relatively recently that interest has been re-established in direct city-to-city -city transport with aircraft such as the Egerstorst Land AW609 and the Carter Copter PAV. The 2010 Eurocopter X3 experimental helicopter shares the general configuration of the Rotodyne, but is much smaller. A number of innovative Gyrodyne designs are still being considered for future development. Specifications Data from Fanire aircraft since 1915, Gerbel 2015, Jibbings 2011, General Characteristics Crew, 2, capacity, 40 passengers, length, 58 feet 8 inches of fuselage, wingspan, 46 feet 6 in, height, 22 feet 2 in, wing area, 475 square feet, empty weight, 22,000 pounds, gross weight, 33,000 pounds, power plant, 2A, Napier Reland NL7 turboprops, 2,800 shp each, power plant, 4A, rotor tip jet, 1,000 pound forces thrust each, main rotor diameter, 4A, 90 feet 0 in, main rotor area, 6,362 square feet, rotor aerofoil, NACA 0015, blade tip speed, 720 feet per second, disc loading, 6.14 pounds FTA squared, propellers, 4 bladed, 13 feet diameter, performance, maximum speed, 190.9 miles per hour speed record, cruise speed, 185 miles per hour, range, 450 miles, service ceiling, 13,123 feet. See also, Gyrodyne, related development, Fanire FB1 Gyrodyne, Fanire Jet Gyrodyne, Fanire Ultralight Helicopter, aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era. McDonnell 15-1, Milmi 12, Camoth Car 22, Hiller Hornet, Eurocopter X3, Related Lists, List of Rotorcraft, List of VTOL Aircraft. References Equals Notes Equals Equals Bibliography Equals External Links, 
Fan I raise promotional video for the Rotodyne on YouTube, Rotodyne Report and 1957 Flight Article.